Hey, what's up everybody? Abbas here from Golden Motor. We are super excited about this build right here. We got this pit bike. We're gonna be turning into electric. Let's do it. So we're thinking of putting a three kilowatt, 72 volt motor on this with the Vector 200. It's gonna be looking super awesome on this bike right here. And to help us with this build, we got Pete, the man himself. Oops. He's been uh, doing custom builds all over GTA for the last five years. I'm gonna put some of uh, Pete's builds on the screen right now. Uh, Pete, what do you think about this one, man? Well, guys, I think we should um, take this. What do we have here? 149cc live fan pit bike. We're gonna make it electric. I'm excited to be part in this build too. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no worries, man. Thanks, guys. So I'd say we get this bike naked and have a look at it.
Yep. Voila. One lifeless lifeline. Maybe I'll put this. Uh, there we go, guys. Ready to electrify. All right, guys, another day of the build. Uh, the bike is ready to go. Uh, last video, we said that uh, we're going to do a three kilowatt motor. We're actually going to, we changed our mind. We're going to do a five kilowatt motor, 72 volts. And then here is the battery. 72 volts, 33 amp hour, and has a 200 amp discharge. And this is actually a Saran battery, custom made, and it fits directly into the Saran uh, stock uh, lid over there. If you guys are interested, let us know. We also got 60 volt, uh, 46 amp hour uh, Saran batteries also. So reach out if you guys are interested. But yeah, today is a uh, chop shop day. We got uh, crazy Pete over here. And uh, hey, Pete, what are we doing with this, man? All right. Well, since we upgraded our motor, we've changed size a little bit. So our original idea of cutting this frame isn't going to work. To get all this to fit in here, I'm going to say, let's get rid of these tabs. We don't, we're not going to need them. And I'd say we cut this gusset out, maybe lower our frame down a little wee bit. And we, we'll try dry fit. See if we can cut it. See if we can get it to fit in there first. These guys, these these guys at Golden Motors like to go big. So uh, let's get at it. Okay. So before we do that, let's bench test our motor and our controller together. Um, these are the phase wires coming out of the motor. So the yellow, green, and blue. Uh, these are where it's gonna go. We'll zoom in and show you where they exactly go in a second. Uh, you have an option of getting a foot throttle, a joystick throttle, or a twist throttle with the controller. We're going to be using a twist throttle. I don't know how a motorcycle with a, uh, with a joystick throttle is going to work. Uh, the controller comes with a set of uh, a wiring harness. And the good thing is, it's all labeled right here. So brakes, reverse, hall sensor throttle so this is where the throttle is going to go in the good thing about the foot throttle and the joystick throttle is that it is plug and play so you just the wire the plugs come in compatible plug it and done uh, the joystick i mean the the twist throttle that we're going to be using it's not plug and play but it's pretty easy so there is a red white and black wire from here and then on the uh, thr twist throttle red white and black so either you can like hardwire red, red to red, white to white, black to black, or uh, the controller comes with a set of extra plugs. So just make a plug right here, which I'm gonna be doing, and just, you know, make it plug and play. Um, you have an option of getting a contactor, depending on what uh, voltage you're using on your motor. This one's a 72 volts. So I got a 72 volt contactor. Right here. I won't be using that. Um, to test it right now but if you need the instructions for the wiring instructions I'll put it on the screen right now so you can pause your screen and just look at that right now um, so yeah let's get uh, let's get the wiring done and make sure the motor is working so your yellow phase wire is your U so yellow to the U uh, green is your V and your uh, blue is your W and then the black wire that's coming out of the motor is your hall sensor. So the hall sensor goes in here. So I'm just gonna put that in quickly. Done, make sure you hear that click. Let's open these up really quickly. Put this in. Uh, this is the negative terminal right here. The negative terminal right here, the positive terminal of the battery. So this is where it's gonna go. So black to the negative terminal red to the positive terminal. One more thing before I start opening this up, there is a E-lock switch right here, uh, which is where you would, if you have an ignition, you would put the ignition over here. So when you turn the key, it turns the controller on. Uh, it's a pretty cool feature. What I'm gonna be doing just for the bench test is, I'm actually gonna, so this, this, this piece right here goes in the positive end also. And since I don't have an ignition right now, just to complete the circuit, I have this paper, club, paper clips. I'm just gonna put it in there. 
does it to finish the circuit right here. All right, so let's get this plugging in. Okay, so I have the, the phase wires connected, the yellow to the U, the green to the V, and the blue to the W. And so the, these are the wires that are coming out of the battery. The positive goes into positive terminal over here and the negative over here. And don't forget to put the, um, this switch right here that's coming out of the wiring harness into the positive terminal also. So I'm gonna quickly take off these screws, put that in. And while I'm at it, um, for the twist throttle, I'm just gonna make a new uh, plug out of it. Uh, but, but make sure the sequence is the same that's coming out of the wiring harness. So this is the one that's coming out of the wiring harness, red, white, and black. I'll make the same sequence. It's your choice. You can make a plug or you can just hardwire it. Uh, depends on your preference. So I'm gonna do that really quickly and I shall be right back. Okay, I have everything hooked up now. So I got the black, black wire coming out of the battery, the negative end right here. Make sure you put the E-lock switch right here. And then once again, I have the paper clip right here in the ignition to complete the circuit. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Uh, just in case, if you're wondering what this is, this is where the USB goes. Um, and then this end will go into the computer. And then you can do a lot of cool stuff, a lot of tuning with this controller, which we'll be doing in a future part of this build. So stay tuned for that. I quickly made a plug with the extra plugs that comes with the controller for the throttle. That is all hooked up also. Make sure you got the right sequence, red to red, white to white, black to black. Uh, phase wires are in, everything is good to go. Turn my Saran beautiful battery on. One beep is good. Give it a little bit of throttle. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I love the sound of that. Okay, let's back to the build now. Let's go. Yeah, let's get these tabs cut off and uh Okay, watch your eyes, gentlemen. Okay, those tabs are gone, so now I'm gonna give this gusset a little slice. See if we can't move that frame down, fit that mega monster battery in there. Okay guys, so my thoughts are I'm just going to build a frame at an angle iron. I'm going to poke a hole for our brake mount. This angle will sit through there, our brake will go over top, and then I will cut it off here, and we will bolt it and shim it through here, so then we have a nice square frame in order to build a bracket off for our, 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 our motor. Okay guys, so all I did today was I cut this gusset out, bent our frame down a little bit, cut off a couple brackets here, removed our brake, 
our kickstand assembly and uh, dry fit a motor, trying to get that motor and that battery to fit. So let's uh, let's dry fit it in. Yeah, let's do it. And have a look. Cool, cool, cool. You hold the you hold the motor. I'll hold the battery. So this guy, I think, would fit perfectly right there. Oh, this battery's heavy. It is soggy, isn't it? What do you think, guys? Looks good? I think we should have enough clearance on the bottom, right? Yep. Right? I think so. So I'll take the... I'll take the steel home, cut it, drill it, prime it black, Ooh. get ready to install it. It's gonna look nice. Yeah. Yeah, excited. I can't wait to ride it. So yeah, so that's uh, part one of the video. Uh, second part, we're gonna go to uh, Pete's shop, uh, get the, all the framing done, and then I can't wait to ride this thing, right? Um, if you wanna check out our, our 10 kilowatt motor in action, check out uh, Rich Rebuild video right here. Uh, he put it on a 80s pod racer, three wheeler. Uh, and that was a crazy video, so check that out. But for that, for this one, part one, we're out. See you guys later.